What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're actually going to be talking about Winnie the Pooh in this video today because Winnie the Pooh has been turned into a nightmare inducing uh, experience that I guess we're going to get to witness sometime this year in the near future. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is coming to us from uh, the director that is named uh, Reese Waterfield who also I guess wrote the screenplay for this. Now this project I saw this getting thrown about on Twitter and on Instagram and I saw everyone going crazy about it. I just didn't think it was legit in the sense that I was like okay this has to be you know like something something different than what we were being told that it is but but no it's actually a movie that's coming out sometime this year all the official outlets were talking about it now there's been a recent interview from variety talking with the director and you know i was just not allowing myself to believe it because for many of you who probably watch my channel and watch all these horror topics i talk about the last thing i was thinking we would have a horror topic on was winnie the pooh something that i'm sure for a lot of you was ingrained in your childhood something you probably grew up watching every morning you know for those of you who grew up with playhouse disney Disney Junior or before it was Disney Junior I think it was Playhouse Disney you know you have those morning cartoons with Winnie the Pooh and seeing Piglet and uh, Eeyore and all of uh, the the friends of Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin himself you know and all these lovable childhood movies that you have featuring this character now you're spinning that into again something that's very nightmare fueled something that I think would cause a lot of trauma depending on the, who is seeing this and I don't know if I'm someone who is as intrigued by the aspect of it in the sense that I'm more terrified by the idea that something I once enjoyed as a kid has been turned into something that again is going to be going on a murderous rampage. You know, it's very intriguing how they continue to flip or these trends I'm seeing of flipping, you know, lovable characters into these hateful things depicted on screen i don't know how how that's going to come off to a lot of people if this starts to become just a habit like uh let's say you get an evil spongebob movie where squidward goes on a murderous rampage doing all of these bad things to spongebob and patrick because you see how aggravated he is in that show with them <laughs> but to, just to talk about this variety interview really quick so the winnie the pooh stories and i guess the uh the public domain it became a it lapsed into the public domain the original winnie the pooh stories lapsed into the public domain five months ago so it's already gone into again the slasher film territory so winnie the pooh blood and honey wrapped earlier this month and the first still showing a demonic pooh and piglet about to pounce on a scantily clad young woman relaxing in a hot tub have already set the internet on fire now recently given an interview with variety waterfield is talking about the response he's gotten from all these steals he shared and he's talked about how because of all the press and stuff we're just going to start expediting the edit and getting it through post-production as fast as we can but also making sure it's still good it's going to be a high priority he said winnie the pooh blood and honey will see pooh and piglet as the main villains going on a rampage after being abandoned by a college bound christopher robin christopher robin is pulled away from them and he's not giving them food it's made pooh and piglet's life quite difficult because they've had to fend for themselves so much they've essentially become feral so they've gone back to their animal roots they're no longer tame they're like a vicious bear and pig who want to go around and try to find prey so a film apparently was shot for 10 days in england and this movie Again, just reading off of this, I, I, I am a bit, you know, just like disturbed because it's it's Winnie the freaking Pooh. And so it's like I'm intrigued to see how this plays out. But I'm also like, should I expose the innocence that lies inside of me from all those years ago? That even though I'm matured now, should I expose myself to something from my innocence to something depicting that in the most heinous way? I, I, I don't know. I'm intrigued, but I'm also the inner child in me is like, don't watch that. Don't ruin that. Don't ruin your childhood. <laughs> I don't know, bro. This this seems to be very, very interesting because we haven't gotten a trailer or anything yet. But these stills do kind of look decent. I'm getting very much so your next vibes. I'm not expecting this to be anything that's, you know, going to be of quality where I come on and say, oh, my gosh, that was so good. As much as I'm expecting, you know, something that's very straightforward, dumbed down you know one note characters no real story being developed other than of course winnie winnie the pooh and piglet being vicious murderers who are hungry and racking up a body count 
so he the director did go on to say he didn't reveal the exact budget for it but he did say audiences shouldn't be expecting this to be a hollywood level production so you know go into this movie with an open mind but don't go into it expecting scream don't go into it expecting halloween 2018 don't go into it expecting you know any of these bigger budget projects that you would get from you know hollywood this is something that is again taking a lovable ip like winnie the pooh flipping it on its head and you know probably going to be something that many people will stray away from only because of the fact that it is again tampering with their childhood and what they have always kind of associated winnie the pooh with now i've seen people talk about oh this would be a good way to introduce kids into horror films i don't think so <laughs> only off of the basis that depending on how young they are and if they are someone who grew up with winnie the pooh they probably be better off watching this as adults um i don't know what horror movies kids are watching these days but if you're someone who lets your children watch horror movies and you're thinking about letting them watch this i think you yourself first should watch it to then decide if this is the right next appropriate step for them because again if there's someone who grew up with winnie the pooh just like you and then they jump right into horror and it's winnie the pooh going on a murderous rampage depending on their age that might not be a good way to start off that might be traumatizing and you know i just think that this movie in and of itself is going to be very controversial given what it's doing <laughs> with winnie the pooh we are it's a breath of fresh air or a sigh of relief to know that uh tigger will not be impacted by this because of the fact that it's based off of a specific ip and you know there's these copyright things in place to keep us from infringing on certain things because again disney of course still has a hand in this in this character so certain aspects of it are only being only being drawn from the ip that's open to be messed with other things like Tigger and everyone else, I guess they're off the table. So for those of you who love Tigger from this series, you don't have to worry about Tigger being, uh, I guess, put through the ringer or becoming this dirty figure in some ways. But I'm excited for the movie. I'm intrigued. I am, again, a bit disturbed because, again, it's, it's Winnie the freaking Pooh. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if you're the movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.